5 Best and 5 Worst Hallmark Christmas Movies No brand has made itself more synonymous with Christmas than Hallmark. It started with annual ornament releases, then transitioned into the countdown to Christmas event that happens on all the Hallmark channels. Beginning right before Halloween, the network shows holiday movies non-stop through January. Hallmark Christmas movies are their own special genre, with their own special rules. It's true they follow a formula, but some are better than others. Fans have their favorites they wait all year for, as well as the ones they love to hate watch, because they're so crazy. Get the hot chocolate and turn on the twinkle lights. These are the five best and five worst Hallmark Christmas movies. Worst, A Boyfriend for Christmas, an annoying plot that Hallmark relies on to fuel its movies, is that a woman can't be happy unless she has a boyfriend at Christmas. A Boyfriend for Christmas takes this idea literally and crafts a whole film around a woman's childhood wish for a boyfriend. Santa discovers this and grants her wish in the form of a lawyer who proceeds to lie to her about being a present from a friend. While she's being lied to, she has to contend with a meddling family and jerk ex-boyfriend. It's painful to see this smart woman humiliated every year. Best One Starry Christmas there are three elements that make these movies work, an independent woman, a non-committal boyfriend, and a nice guy she's friends with. One Starry Christmas is a great example of how to use all three to tell a fun story. Holly's boyfriend Adam chooses work over Christmas with her family. Luckily, she meets Luke while traveling, and her parents welcome him and his brother for the holiday. Luke is endlessly charming, making it easy to fall in love with him, while rooting for him and Holly to admit their feelings. The fourth requirement is met when Holly dumps Adam after an embarrassing marriage proposal. Worst, every Christmas has a story in every Christmas has a story. Viewers are lost right out of the gate when they meet TV host Kate, Lori Laughlin. She hates Christmas, which is fine, but she wants to ruin everyone else's good time. To rehab her image, she's sent to the most festive town in America, and she hates every moment. Even worse, her ex-boyfriend slash producer Jack, played by the always charming Colin Ferguson, must go along, and it's clear during the entire movie, he is way too good of a guy to put up with her attitude. The movie is not an especially fun way to celebrate Christmas.